Dan, you got the money. Okay. I got, yeah, I got okay. a few bob, yeah. Okay. You support Trump? You do? Yep. Okay. I was one of the first endorsers, public okay. endorsers of, of President Trump. What are you Trump. guys going to do when our ocean level rises? Thank you for asking that no. question. I have the answer, though. No, let me finish. I have the answer. Let me finish. Well, well, uh, thank right you for now. the question. Yeah. Right now, for, okay. For the first time on earth, we're changing the gas. Now you're Let full of shit. Sit down. I'm no. going to answer you. I'm going to answer you. Just Dad. shut up Fuck and you. shut you up and sit down. Me. No way. Sit down. No. No. I got to finish my question. Uh, you. A I'm, I'm going to answer global warming. Right, All right. Finish now, the question. Our gas answer. Is changing on Earth, and it's changing to CO2. What do you people with the money? What are you doing about this? Because I'm going to tell you right now. Children. No, I've got children. I've got 21, 23 year old children. And what's their future with you people with money? You, you, you talk about money all of the time. Okay, okay. Sit down, okay. please. Sit down, please. What In the front row. Excuse me. Earth. In the front row. Please about sit down. Earth. Okay, you've asked your question. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer. Excuse me, ma'am. Will you please sit down? And, uh, please. Thank you. That's okay. Please sit down. Let him answer. Okay. In 2011, my wife and I were in Antarctica renewing our vows. For most of you that don't know, Antarctica is on a mountaintop, okay? And uh, there is a $500 million fa um, facility, uh, scientific facility there, and, and the scientists came to give us presentations about global warming. And they had cores of ice that they had drilled. They had drilled four or 5,000 cores, and they only brought 15 or 20. So they're going through the second or third core, and they said, uh, 275,000 years ago, this was the temperature, blah, 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 blah. and then 55,000 years ago, th the world was two degrees warmer Celsius than it is today. This is 2011. And, oh, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. And he said, and I said, well, you mean the whole world? He says, yes. And the, the poles are only benchmarks. And I said, well, what about the things that the, the young woman alluded to, okay? And he said, it's all cyclical. And although the gas may have exacerbated it, in the cosmos of time, it's not a fart in the wind. In the cosmos of time, of the 13.8 billion years that we've been on this miserable planet, it's not a fart in the wind. And as I told Joe Rogan on his show, and he said in his infinite wisdom, and uh, Joe, if you hear this, I thank you for the opportunity to be in on your show. He said, then in 25,000 years, it's most likely not going to be a problem. Now, my direct answer to your question, if that were really true, which you believe, and let's just for a moment say that it is true, that means that the best scenario vis-a-vis -vis global warming is about 10 feet raising water. That's the best scenario over the next 40, 50 years. That's the best scenario. The worst scenario is about 100 feet. But let's just take the 10 feet. If the water on the planet is going to rise up 10 feet, that means the southern part of the United States is gone. England is gone. Most of Europe is gone. And I can go, uh, most of Central America is gone. OK. If that's the case, let's just take Florida, for example, which is one of the fastest growing condominium, beachfront condominiums on the planet. In the prospectus, when you invest, there should be, in the footnotes, if global warming is for real, they won't put it that way, global warming happens and water rises 10 feet, this investment you made is fuck all. <laughs> Not one single investment prospectus written since 2000, this century, has alluded to global warming. Not one motherfucker. If it were really true, the banks wouldn't invest. The banks wouldn't finance. Not one motherfucking condominium. So the people that have the money, and I'm, I'm jealous of the Vice President Gore, which Sally and I rode on a plane from South America with a few years ago. I am jealous he came up with a scam before I did. Because the financial institutions, the banks, 
of this world know it's not going to happen. Otherwise, you couldn't get a goddamn loan in London. You know those 30, 40-year mortgages? The world will be over by then. Is Barclays Bank going to give you a motherfucking loan? With the greatest respect, ma'am, it's the greatest fraud that's been perpetrated on mankind this century. Continue watching this fascinating conversation for free by clicking on the link below to visit our website, learn from the best minds in the world, and connect with a community of passionate people building the best versions of themselves. Just click on the link below, and I'll see you on the inside.